All right, it is now 821 on this uh, Friday morning. Yeah, the summer temperatures can be dangerous. Yes, indeed. Dina Kupfer standing by with a pediatrician, Dr. Lena Vander, uh, with some tips on how to keep the kids safe this summer. Yes, good morning to all of you. So Dr. Lena Vanderlist of UC Davis is joining us now to talk more about how to make sure we're keeping the really little littles safe in the heat. Because for a lot of those little babies who are maybe on formula or milk, they can't have water yet, right? And we got to make sure we know the signs to look out for when they're too little to tell us that they're not feeling okay. So Dr. Vanderlist, thank you so much for joining us. Great to see you. What are some of the first warning signs if you have a young, young baby infant who might be dealing with some stress related illnesses because of the heat. Yeah, so of course they can't tell you when they're feeling overheated. So you may see that their skin is flushing. They might seem a little bit more low energy or want to sleep more. And importantly, you're going to feel those wet diapers start to diminish, right? Those heavy diapers might start to feel like less. And just like you mentioned, um, infants under six months old cannot have water. So that's when it's time to increase the breastfeeding, increase the breast milk or the formula. Okay, so we know that they say, you know, if you have young children or the elderly, you need to be extra cautious in this heat. So is there an amount of time, especially when our temperatures get to triple digits that you would recommend someone have their baby outside for or should they just kind of play it safe and try to find a cool space? I would play it safe and find a cool space. If you are going stir crazy, these morning hours are the best time to get out for a walk. But really later in the day in Sacramento, the heat index, especially this weekend, is just not going to be safe for young children. OK, and then also when we're talking about hot temperatures, we've done so many stories on hot cars, uh, hot playgrounds, hot surfaces. What is your advice to parents if they do want to get out and maybe take their kiddos outside just for a little bit to get the energy out? What's some good uh, words of wisdom that you have for those folks? Yeah, so, you know, cars can be extremely dangerous. We know they heat up very quickly and are much hotter than the outside temperature. Um, unfortunately, kids have died in cars almost every year, and so there's never a safe amount of time to leave your child in a car alone. Um, and then when it comes to other things, you know, you're just driving in the car, you want to make sure you, you feel those car seats for those, you know, straps and buckles, or if you're at the playground, the slide, because they can get extremely hot and can lead to burns in children. So make sure you're extra vigilant this weekend. We want to keep all of our kids safe. Absolutely. Such great advice. All right, Dr. Lena Vanderlist again with UC Davis. Uh, thank you so much. We're so grateful for you. One thing that I actually do do with my kiddos or my kiddo, I should say, is I put pants on her when she's in the car seat because I'm always worried about how hot the car seat might be. And then when you're going to where you're going, you can put shorts or a skirt or something else on. But doctor, thank you so much. We appreciate your advice this morning. And so just stay safe with the kids. Make sure you're also being cautious of the pets and their paws on the ground. Back to you guys. So important, Dina. Mm -hmm. Thank you.